What up guys, it's Grant's Comics here and today we are going to review Superman 117, boom, this is from 1965 and before I get into review, I did not finish this whole story because there is a, a, this deta a detached page and I didn't want to continue to the story but apparently this has two stories in it and I only will be reviewing the first one I'll just be talking about the first one, but apparently this is the first appearance of it, which is this weird uh, creature theme with Bob. Maybe it is. It's well, it does say weirder the things, weird than the thing, mightier than Godzilla. The man is called it. So I don't know if this is a key, like a minor key or not. But if it is, then I'm probably gonna sell it for a higher. Uh, higher uh, price if it's to me I don't think it is because I did try to research about this comic and I'll do a little bit more research before I do put it up on market um, but other than that I don't I didn't really see anything that has to do with this comic so I think it's just a regular comic a double check again but yeah this is the first uh, I'm just this is just I'm just gonna call it a regular non key comic until I solve um, when I, until I solve this uh, thing, but um, yeah, this is from 1967. I mean, it's 65. All bright yellow colors with uh, Superman and the police and uh, this um, guy from I don't know what job he does, but he's they're trying to all you know help Superman get out of it. So it is apparently some random fog or tornado thing that basically eats up everything um, that's in front of it so um, that's what it does and Superman tries to take it down and he does take it down from what I saw from what I finished too he takes this he takes it to like a jungle or something because it ba it basically likes to eat anything green like it, it would eat the crypt the kryptonite it ate uh, Lois Lane's handkerchief it ate a truck with uh, money in it and it just it, it ate anything green so Superman did put it put it to in a jungle where it was a lot of green like a lot of grass and that's where I basically stopped that because I, like I said it there is a detached cover or detached uh, page in here and when I do sell this I would I will mention um, it on the on when I'm trying to you know uh, sell it but um, so yeah. But the story that I read all the way through, it's about so the story that I read all the way through is about this kryptonite, this red kryptonite who tells the story of how it met Superman, what it what it did to Superman. It did so many things to Superman. It changed him into a fat Superman, changed him to a beard Superman, changed him to a six uh, finger Superman. Uh, all that all that kind of stuff. But this particular Kryptonite, this red kryptonite, uh, switched his language to crypt, uh, Kryptonese, which was it's which is an alien species. Obviously, if you guys know that Superman is not human, he is an alien that looks like human. He's from Krypton, and so basically, this uh, rock, this red rock, uh, turned, uh, made his uh, speaking voice. He didn't speak English anymore. He speaks Kryptonese. So Superman, you can like. You can you, like the thought bubble. You can obviously see what he's trying to do in the thought bubble. Like he tried to get uh, crypto to help him out. He tried to get a robot that looked like uh, Clark Kent, and that the robot blew up. The only person or the only thing that can actually help Superman is crypto. By and crypto kind of. So when Clark Kent and Super, uh, Clark Kent and Lois Lane went on a date, Crypto kind of like talked for him, and the funny, well it's not f funny, it's kind of weird and like I don't know, but what I'm trying to say is Lois Lane accused Clark Kent to be Superman just because he spoke uh, Crypt Kry Kryptonese and. Um, it was just kind of weird, and he said, "Oh, you, you kind of sound like Superman. Superman, Superman, uh, is speaking Kryptonese." 
here's the thing though in reality you can learn languages so maybe instead of here's what they could have done Lois Lane could have um sorry my dog but anyways Lois Lane could have not really accused him to um be like oh my god you're you're Superman you're you're speaking Kryptonese you could have she could have just said or the people from DC at the time could have just been like if I wrote this story, I would have been like, oh, Superman taught you Kryptonese. That's awesome because languages, you learn. You learn languages. You don't, unless, you know, even when you're, let's say, Japanese people, when they're born, they learn their language, right? And then when they come to America, they learn English. They learn American. Same as um, us, you know, Ameri American people. We learn to speak our language first, and we, if we want to go to Japan or Mexico or whatever other foreign language we can s learn their language so what they could have done in this is in this issue Lois Lane could have said oh did Superman teach you Kryptonese and simply instead of accusing Clark Kent to be like oh you're Superman like really like that's if I was working for DC at that time or if I worked at DC in general or even Marvel if Marvel had something like that I would have been like dude why don't we have the side character or let's just use this issue for example I would be like dude we can just tell we can just add in the bubble saying have Lois Lane say oh did Superman teach you Kryptonese you know so like accusing somebody and learning a language is totally different so to me that's kind of messed up where uh, Lois Lane accused uh, Clark Kent for being Superman, but that's just me. Other people have opinions on that, so um, that's gonna be it. Like I said, I haven't read the whole issue, like I always do uh, before I review because of the detached cover. But I will be doing uh, other uh, reviews and stuff. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna do hauls for for a while. So you know what I'm gonna do. For all the people who subscribe, who are is subscribed to Grant's Comics, please subscribe to my second or my first channel. Um, it's my main channel, my music channel, Dylan Grant's. I'm on there. I'm probably gonna post videos on there every day. Same goes to Grant's Comics. So if you guys, for all the people who subscribe to Grant's Comics, if you guys haven't subscribed to my main channel, go ahead and do that. So you guys can get me on both channels, you know what I mean? And but most for for the most part, I would like this if uh, you can share this video. I do want Grant's Comics to get to a hundred subscribers. It is at sixty six as this video is up. Um, my main channel, I believe, is hundred sixty five or hundred twenty five. I think it's hundred twenty five. That's more realistic. My main channel is hundred twenty five. I want to get my main channel to 200 so make sure you guys if you guys are subscribed to Grant's comics go subscribe to my main channel Dylan Grant's and let's get Dylan Grant's to 200 and for those people who are not subscribed to either of those channels these channels subscribe to Grant's comics which is just this channel where this video is up now and subscribe to uh, my main channel Dylan Grant's so you guys don't miss any videos from neither channel and um, that's gonna be it for now get this video a thumbs up share it to the comic book community and subscribe all right